Example two, finding a line tangent to a curve at a point. Find the equation of the line tangent to f of x equals x squared at the point one, one. So as you can see, I went ahead and graphed f of x for you. So this graph is f of x equals x squared. And our viewing window, actually this is a little squished. Let me move this. There we are. Our viewing window is here from about negative one to positive three on the x and negative one to eight on the y. So at this point, we don't actually have the tools to estimate, or even to, not even estimate, to get the exact slope to our tangent line, and that's at this point here, one comma one. That's the point that we're interested in. But we don't know how to find the slope of this line yet. So we're gonna estimate it using secant lines. So I'm gonna draw a few other points, and one of them is going to be two, four, and let's start with this secant line. So let me go ahead and sketch that in and bear with me while I try to make a nice, neat straight line sketch. And I'm gonna call this secant line one. So I'm gonna call this S1 of X. So I want the slope of this secant line. And to do that, Let's go ahead and remember from algebra this slope formula that we find the difference in the y values. We want to find the distance here in the horizontal values or the x values. So this slope is 4 minus 1 over 2 minus 1. And if you notice, 2, 4 is one point, And 1, 1 is another point. You could also swap them and get the same slope. And this will give us 3. So is the slope of this tangent line 3? It's not. So let's try again. Let's take a secant line that's just a little bit closer. So I'll mark this next point in purple. And I'm going to say right here at one and a half, 1.5 comma 2.25 right there. So that's my next point that I'm going to find the slope of. And let me go ahead and sketch this line in purple. And I'm going to call this one S2 of X. So using the same formula as above, I have 2.25 minus 1 divided by 1.5 minus 1, and that gives me a slope of 2.5. So the slope of this first line here, this secant line, is 3. This slope is 2.5, and, and now let's try a point that's a little bit closer here. So take a moment, and let's say use the, um, the point 1.1, and I'm going to kind of guess where that at, is at, and I'm going to sketch that in using green. So this is x is 1.1 and y is 1.21. So take a moment and find the slope of this small secant line right here. And that's S3 of x. So take a moment and using the same procedure where you're going to find the slope between this point and this point, find the slope of this green line. By now you should have paused your video and you should hopefully have gotten for this green secant line, you should have gotten the slope 2.1. So now we're going to make an educated guess. The slope of the secant line between this blue point here, 1.1, 1, 1, and 2, 4, that slope is 3. And then we took one more secant line with our second point closer to the point we're interested in here in blue, and we found that that slope is 2.5. Then we took another secant line again, and the points again are closer. So if you notice, to recap, our first points were this far apart, our second points are this far apart, and our final points are getting pretty close together. So at this point, this point's almost touching this one. So these are pretty close. This secant line is pretty close to having the same slope as a tangent. It's definitely closer than either of these. And this one had a slope of 2.1. So if you had to guess, let's make our educated guess, let's estimate the slope of the tangent line at 1 comma 1. So I'm estimating that the slope of this little um, of this tangent line at this point is 2 since I'm seeing that we started at 3 then 2 and a half we're getting pretty close to 2.1 and in fact you can go ahead and pause the video and play around with this demo and I'll show you it a bit um, as soon as we're done with this I'll show you this as well play with this demo and you'll see that you are in fact getting closer and closer to 2. So we've estimated the slope of the tangent line here to be 2. So now we need to go ahead and remember from algebra, this formula will give you the equation of a line given a point and a slope. So I know one of my points is 1, 1 in blue. 
So I'm going to do y minus 1 equals, and the slope I'm guessing that is the slope of the tangent line is 2 times x minus 1. So this is y equals 2x minus 2 plus 1. So y equals 2x minus 1. So our estimate for the line tangent to x squared at 1, 1 is 2x minus 1. All right, now, so now let's take a look at the demo and see if our estimate here for the slope was pretty close. Okay, so on your screen, you should see the tech demo. There is a link to it on Canvas. And here is the graph of x squared, like in our example. And it tells us the slope of the secant line passing through 1, 1, which is labeled here as q, and 2, 4, which is labeled as p, is 3. And that's what we had for our slope during our example. When we computed the slope between those two points, we got that the slope of the line connecting those points is 3. And then the next thing we did, and you can do this on your own, you can try this out as well, as you can drag this point. The next thing we did was we found the slope between 1, 1 and 1 and a half. Um, I think it was like 2, 3. This is rounding pretty heavily, but either way, because of the heavy rounding, it says the slope is 2.5 in a couple different places. So at 1 and a half and 2 and a quarter, rounded to 2.3, the slope passing between these two points is 2 and a half. And so what just happened here? We were, our secant line was all the way up here, and this green line and this red line, the slopes didn't really come all that close. Because frankly, if you were walking up this red hill, it would be a little easier than, say, walking up this green hill, because this green hill's a little steeper. But then we moved P closer, and we moved it to about here. And then suddenly, the slopes are getting a little bit more similar. And they're getting more similar, these two slopes, where, where it matters, which is right around Q. And then during our third step, we went even closer still to about 1.1, 1.2. And now when you look at this, the green line and the red line are almost touching. They're almost the exact same slope, but not quite yet. So the idea is what you're doing when you're estimating the slope of a tangent line using secant lines is you're saying, well, here's one secant line that could estimate my slope, but I get a better estimate if I move this point closer and use this secant line. Or then if I move this point even, say, closer or closer or closer, I get really good estimates of the slope of, or actually not even the slope, the entire tangent line to my curve at this point Q. And then finally, of course, when P and Q are the same, so they're both 1, 1, so this slope here is 2. And that was our estimate for the slope of the actual tangent line, and it's safe to say we were correct.